Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Lander Squad? I just am putting this in the beginning of the videos because I made a second channel called Sam Tuber. All you got to do is type in Sam Tuber to go and see it. This is going to be a variety channel where I'll be playing a bunch of different games. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, please go and subscribe. And I will be uploading multiple times per week. Don't worry, this will not affect the Smite content. That will be same as normal. I love you guys. Back to the video. What's up, Sexy Sam Lander Squad? So I decided because the first video of today is Cabracken Solo in Conquest. I'm sure you guys would want to see how Cabracken does or how any god really does. And I think I might start doing this a little bit more. Is I'll play one god in Conquest and, and the same god in Duel. And you can kind of see the differences in builds or... You no, know, obviously my Cabracken game was all about full damage. So builds are going to be pretty much the same. But, um... Excuse me. You can see the difference in, like, uh, play styles and... You can see the difference in maybe a, a leveling of abilities and um, just like different relics, you know, stuff like that. So this should be interesting. Um, this this character, or not this character, I'm sorry, this player. Hold on, let me pick first. I definitely want Boombas. I think it's not even close that I want Boombas. And I also think it's not even close that I want to start with defense. Uh, no, I probably want damage because I don't, I don't have any damage from... Uh, I don't have any damage from my relic, my Boomba's dagger. But uh, yeah, this this person, Fabio, he, we just played a game, and I wanted to get a Morgan Le Fay recording because I haven't had one yet. Um, and obviously he banned Morgan Le Fay this game. But last game I was completely demolishing him, and um, I was completely demolishing him, and then my keyboard, like disconnected itself and I all of a sudden um I all of a sudden uh died because he killed me while my keyboard was DC'd I should be able to kill him here I'm like very not scared uh, but I can't reach him. I guess he's got his two active. But yeah, my keyboard disconnected and uh, and he killed me and took my Phoenix while my keyboard was disconnected. So I was pretty upset about it. But, um, whatever. All right. Good kill. Good kill. Let's go back. Let's get our tier two of um, Book of Thoth, which does go from 20 power to 55. So it's a big jump in power, which is really nice. And I'm going to farm some buffs. I'm assuming he's going to do the same. He's not, actually, which is quite odd. I'll pick this up. Oh, he had the red buff that time. I, I For real, I thought I had the red buff the whole time. For real. Not kidding. It's very weird that he would go for the wave and not um, a buff, but it's better for me, so I'll take it. <clears throat> and we're just, we're in big clear mode right now, big clear mode. I want to make sure he doesn't get a speed buff, but I also want to make sure I don't, like, give this wave up. I didn't see him at his speed. Okay, he did his blue. I saw him pop out over by his blue. So we should be free to do his speed buff. Which will give me enough for Book of Thoth. Are we back? We grab Book and we start... Pumping out the damage. This is uh pretty much as good as it gets so far for an early game. Yeah. 
I am prepared to fight. I don't know where he went. I don't think he went to my blue, so. Alright. I actually didn't even care that I was sitting in tower. And yes, I was actually sitting in tower. <laughs> I was sitting in tower that entire time while just slamming him with my three. All right. How much did tower do? 551. Minions did another 350. I took most of my health, not from him, but from minions. Um, I was hoping my two could clear, but doesn't seem like he can just yet. Keep my teammates out of the grave. I don't think I'm scared. I think you trying to fight me is going to do nothing but get you killed over and over and over and over. All right, let's get this red buff now. Ollie, I believe, is 1650, right? For full poly? Yeah, 1650. Mm. He's doing the exact same build as he did last game, which is uh, Evo Gloves, Shoguns, Toxic Blade, Frostbound. Big run, dude. The big run. Mm. Actually, would be very happy to fight this. Let's see if he comes out. Get hey, greedy. Go for the wave. There we go, dude. The greed. The greed will get to him, man. The greed gets to him. I'm actually going to go for this red buff. The greed will get to him. He says while having 200 HP and going for a red buff while the enemy is spawning. <laughs> All right. Grab this. And I'm going to keep going in this tree. Reason being, because I already told you the exact build he's going to go, because he did it to me, like, literally item for item last game. Um, so, because I already know what build he's going, I'm going to go Soul Reaver. Because he stacks a lot of HP. You know, Shogun's has HP. Obviously, Frostbound has a lot of HP. Toxic Blade has HP. He's an HP boy. He's an HP boy. I could use a beads, honestly. It'd be nice, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna keep getting all the buffs on the map, expanding my lead. Dude, I clear buffs so fast right now with Boombas and with Polly and Book of Thought. And my damage is so high. So my one while it's active makes me immune to roots. But if he roots me before my one is active, I am not immune to roots. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. I will go beads for the uh, inevitable. I all T bores. I beads. I stun. He gets screwed. Am 
Uh, darn tootin'. Darn tootin'. All right, we actually killed him. I didn't expect to actually get the kill there, but we did. And I'm very happy about it. <laughs> um, I'll clear this wave before I get the buff. That mannequins is a problem because it stops my my blink. All right. Get our Soul Reaver online. And there's the Shogun's online. Ne his next item is going to be Toxic Blade. At least that's what it was last game. Um. Almost got him. Almost got him. I think we got his. Uh, I think we got his alt there. I don't think anything else, but we definitely got his alt. And I have Polynomicon and I have Red Buff, so I'm pretty sure I can one hit this tower. <laughs> and bah! oh, almost, almost. Almost, almost. Making sure he's not coming over here. Just making sure. You know what it is. You know what it is. You quite literally do not scare me. In fact, I'm pretty sure I will eat you alive. There's no way that you can survive. My man and my fragging. Boom! <laughs> what a good way to end the song, right? What a good way to end that song. Chunk. Hear the wave. And chunk. That's right, boys. I am a Cabracken with a red buff and a Polynomicon. No towers scare me. No objectives put fear in my heart. You think I'm scared of you? Boom! Do, 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 do. Boom! Boom! It's too easy. It's too easy. My next item was going to be a Rod of Tahuti, and then after the Rod of Tahuti, I would have been uh, getting Boomba's Dagger, or not Boomba's Dagger, Boomba's Hammer. Then after Boomba's Hammer, it probably would have been something like a Chronos Pending, because I had the, a little bit of cooldown goes a long way. It could have been like a Bancroft, whatever. It doesn't matter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.